Good morning, post-Christmas, pre-New Year's quick test morning. Boys and girls, we have a Avatar AST2100. Of course, it was on sale, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. So we're going to open it up and do a quick test. There she is, nice and safe and secure. Give me a minute and I'll unbag it, get it on the bench, and we'll check it out. All right, here she is, unbagged. Uh, it's a nice looking amp, has a few minor smudges, nothing in the finish. Uh, okay, maybe a little bit in the finish. But that seems to be pretty common nowadays. She gets something new and it's got blemishes. Uh, like its brother, uh, the, uh, what was that called? ATU 2000. This also has pretty substantial size inputs uh, with the Phillips head. Um, Looks like the speaker inputs are a little smaller than the ATU. And it looks like the power inputs are here. I mean, that would easily fit one aught, but uh, it might fit two aught. But as I recall, I want to say the speaker inputs were a little bigger. And let's flip to the other side. Hang on. All right. And over here we got power protect. There were no caps on this uh, input output. The bag was sealed. It was taped. This is how it came. Uh, gain, low pass, 40 to 180. Subsonic, 10 to 50. Uh, Base boost with frequency, 30 to 80. That's nice. Guess what's not nice? There is no remote jack on this amp. This amp does not come with a remote. That is unusual, especially for a monoblock large amplifier. And uh, substantial size, uh, you know, probably in the 18, 20 inch width, uh, a length rather. Um, nice heat sink. I don't know. I'm not going to break the, uh, well, this doesn't have a warranty seal on the bottom either. So hang on, let's pop the bottom open and take a peek. Alright, all the screws are removed. We'll note the uh, Made in People's Republic of China. Um, Mingbo Sound Solution, i.e. Trading Company, something, something. So, that is that. Let's uh, gently take this cover off. Now, I would have to go scouring the net to see if this looks familiar to anything else, but being it comes out of PROC, I assume uh, it's going to be, you know, a board that is used in many other amps. And, uh, let's see what we got here, because I can't see that well. I'd have to, um, <laughs> I'd have to get the, out the old jeweler's eye loop uh, to be able to read that. Yeah, I can't see it. Twenty two hundred. Is that what that is? And 25 volt. I guess that's what it is. 2225 volt. And we got a row of six, row of six. And what are. See how they have it positioned so you can possibly read the caps 2200, 100 volt. I think that is what that says. So, 
Uh, then you got a few other little caps mixed in there. Uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. And over here, your uh, filter adjustments, RCAs, power protect, and your power in, speaker in, and so forth. So that's what it looks like inside. Hang on, we'll plug it up and see what it sounds like. All right, we're all plugged up. Got the uh, blue power light on. Got the uh, infamous Slick Willy Quick Test 10 gauge CCA wire. And of course, that's run to alligator clips. 1405 on the old lead battery, lead acid wet battery golf cart bank and let's do a little 25 hertz we're going to do this uh i just brought the newly refurbished iron man box out that was uh the box used in budget 12 shootout it's a little small i think it's about 1.5 something like that 1.4 1.5 ported 12 we double baffled it and uh, the baffle stopped here and I added these little three-quarter pieces around here glued them in clamped them on glued them filled in with uh, glue on the seams ran a router around it threw a poster in it and poured some epoxy on it and uh, you know turn your head sideways and it looks really good but uh, you know anybody can do that they can do it at home. This is not by any means not uh, showpiece quality or anything like that. But uh, it looks pretty good to me. So anyway, and the power base, uh, that's a small 400R, 500RMS, something like that. Uh, dual 4, wired at 2. And let's go see if we can get a 25 hertz. See if I can hear where I got uh, I hear a little bit of chirping in there. And I think it's because I had drilled pre-drilled this for another sub that was a pretty good bit bigger. So I had to turn it a few degrees and throw the screws in it for this and those other holes are probably seeping a little bit. But anyway, there's the 25 hertz and a little instrumental. And of course she's uh, cool as a cucumber that's not stressing this thing whatsoever um, but the amps working good uh, I think the gain came up to about 11 o'clock on this 2 ohm load uh, up to the point where yeah I don't want to push it it's everything's cold it's a small sub small wire whatever but uh, the amp works sounds good it's clear um, and obviously when it was on sale at down for sound i think it was i can't remember if this was the one that was 158 one was 149 one was 158 something like that you know obviously plus tax whatever but uh i think it'll do the job uh somebody wants a budget amp and this will show up here very soon on low budget waffles uh and 
don't forget with this one no remote so you'll have to run a rca base knob on that one so there you go that's it have a good day